Hi, I'm Elise Ashton from the Anglophile Channel. Bill Nye, welcome to the Anglophile Channel. Thank you. Did they make you audition for this film? No. <laughs> it was good to hear. We were wondering. No, I haven't auditioned for, for a while. It's one of the greatest things that ever happened to me. I didn't even imagine. I didn't even realize when it happened. I just went to for interviews, and apparently there was something weird happening. And then I realized they were asking me to be in it rather than me begging them. That's a wonderful position to be yeah, in. Yeah, it was. It was like Christmas. So collaborating with Autumn DeWilde, she has like a music background, and you've had a rock and roll swagger in your past. Did you? Um, and you were given, it seems, a real opportunity to play up the comedy. Could you talk to me about that? Yeah, she was very, very unusual. I'd never met anyone quite like her. I've become extremely uh, enthusiastic about her. She's fantastic. This is her first movie. Her background is music videos. She's done music videos with Beck and Ryan Adams and Florence and the Machine and Jack White and all kinds of uh, very you know hip people. And she has and she's done Prada commercials and she's a very very eminent photographer. She was meticulous about everything in the frame from your hair to the chair to the, that poster. You know everything was attended to. And she'd done everything except make a feature film. And now she has. And I think she's really delivered. And it looks like you were given free range to play up the comedy because with Mr. Woodhouse, there isn't much on the page. Yeah, she was very keen to get what she called a screwball comedy kind of element going. And she screened Bringing Up Baby with Cary Grant and Catherine Hepburn for the whole cast as a tonal reference to give them some idea of where she was going. And yeah, we were at liberty to do all kinds of stuff. I mean, we did look at each other occasionally on the set and think, is this okay? I mean, are you really? I mean, this is Jane Austen. Are you gonna get, you know, but it seems to have worked out okay. Is there one thing that you would bring from Jane Austen's world into the present, if you could? Uh, no phones. Ah. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something? No computers and no phones. Well, you did have a real connection with your film daughters, um, with Chloe Peary, who was a carbon copy of Mr. Woodhouse, um, Isabel, and then with Emma's, and you really had a, a great chemistry. Could you talk about that, please? Well, working with Anya was absolutely dreamy. She was super prepared, and she's a very, very decent person and a wonderful companion on the set and she's very intelligent she's you know and she she just she was just it was you raised your game playing with her because she was really you realize that this is someone who's incredibly intelligent and has done an enormous amount of work and thinking about it and she uh, and so you really were on your toes with her she was wonderful to work with i was very very you brought an incredible amount of heart to mr woodhouse too well thank he, you he didn't just tell people what to eat he really cared yeah no he's passionate about it yeah i mean that's what a valetudinarian uh, does you of know course. valetudinarians who are obsessively concerned with other people's well-being they they attend to everything including their diet. It is an obsession. And he uh, kept himself warm. And was that really the top of your head behind screens? Because even that made us laugh. Yeah, that was the top of my <laughs> head, yeah. It's a good day at work when you just have to sit behind a screen. It's great. It? I wish I could do it <laughs> all the time. That's a great compliment. Thank you. So you seem to bring so much joy to all of your roles. Um, do you just really enjoy being an actor? I wouldn't go that far. No. I do enjoy it. Yeah, I appreciate it. And I like certain elements of it. And I'm very, very, very grateful. And I'm extremely fortunate. But uh, there are days, you know, like any job, good days, bad days, some days when you can persuade yourself that you can do it and other days when you can't. And you have to go to work whether you can or not. So there are some dark, not dark days, but just some anxious days. But mostly, yeah, I mean, you know, you get to do, you go to places you'd never go to. Um, and you get to do things you'd never generally do and I get, and, and I'm very fortunate that I work with a lot of really decent lovely funny people well here's to many more good days thank, thank you, you.